Hi, this is Yusarian from BoyMeetsPhone.com. What I have here today is the Samsung Exhibit 2 4G. This is the newest 4G phone to hit T-Mobile. Taking a quick look at the hardware, um, you can see it's a nice dark blue and gunmetal colorway. I really like the colorway. Um, the device is mostly made out of plastic like a lot of other Samsung phones. So it's a rather light device. And but you know, just because it's made out of plastic doesn't mean it's not solid. It's a really solid device. Samsung usually does a good job at making the devices both light and solid. On the front, we have a 3.7 inch Super LCD display. Right below that, we have the Android capacitive buttons for home, sorry, for menu home back and search. Above the display, we have the earpiece grill. We have the proximity and ambient light sensor. And right here is the VGA quality front facing camera. On the left spine, we have the volume rocker. The volume rocker is raised nicely, it has a nice bump on it, so it has, gives you a nice feedback. On the right spine is the power and screen lock button. Um, it's a little flush, it has a little bump, but it's a little flush a little bit too flush for my liking. Um, there's also no dedicated camera button, which is a little sad to see. On top, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack. And like on the Galaxy S devices, we have a port with a door for the micro USB port. On bottom, we have the microphone and a little notch to take off the battery cover. On the back we have the 3.2 megapixel camera with the LED flash and the little opening for the speaker. If we take off the back, you do have to pry off the back and it is a little bit difficult to put back on. We have the back a 1500 milliamp hour battery and right here is the micro SD card slot. Um, unfortunately, this phone does not ship with a micro SD card, and you are going to need one if you're going to use Samsung Media Hub. So that's something you sh you're going to want to make sure you grab or have available for you um, if you plan on picking up this phone. Powering the Exhibit 2 is one of Qualcomm's Snapdragon chipsets. This is one of the S2 series, the MSM. 8255, so it has a 1GHz Scorpion CPU and a Adreno 205 GPU. The Exhibit 2 is running Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread. It's always nice to see a version of Android that has native video chat support right out the box, especially when you have a phone with a front-facing camera. It also is using Samsung's TouchWiz 4.0 interface, which is nice to see, it's something that you get on the Galaxy S2 series of devices. However, you don't get all of the motion features due to the fact that it does not have a gyroscope. So some of the motion features won't work, but you get all the core features. So you get seven home panels. You get this nice way to add widgets on the device so you can actually see what's going on. You can see the home panels, you don't get that list where you have to choose it and then fit it up. You can scroll around and see where you have room. Also, there are multiple resizable widgets. On my first impression video, I incorrectly said that there was only one. I was just having an issue getting them to resize, but there's multiple resizable widgets. The bookmark is resizable. Notepad is resizable. Also, the photo frame is resizable. There's a lot, of, a lot of nice customization options on TouchWitch 4.0, which I really like. In the application drawer, you get, let's see, well, let's see what comes pre-installed. You get 411 and more, accounts and sync, all share, which is their DLNA program. Bejeweled 2, Google Books comes pre-installed on this. Bonus apps, that's a T-Mobile. Um, Blimpo is a, another book 
reader. Let's see. Highlights. Keys Air. That's so you can wirelessly download your de your device's data, such as like messaging, pictures, and stuff like that, on a web browser. You can wirelessly wirelessly access them and download it. Let's see. Media Hub. Media Hub. So you can uh, purchase and rent movies. However, like I said, because it does not come with a SD card, you do need to install an SD card in order to use Media Hub. Mini Diary. Let's see what else. You get a memo pad, which is always nice to have out of the box. So Lookout's antivirus comes pre-installed on the device. Let's see, Social Hub. That is Samsung's social media aggregator. Polaris Office. get Xenio Reader out of the box, Tetris comes installed, and of course Quick for video chat. You also get a task manager built in, which is always nice. You can also edit the app drawer. You can move around, decide which panels will go where, which is always nice. And if you have it set, you hit menu, on customizable grids, you get the option of editing and do things like create folders you can change what apps are on the bottom launcher so say I don't want contacts there you can remove contacts say I want settings you can drag settings down there and that's always nice to have the ability to change things like that around I have found that every once in a while when you turn off the phone and turn it back on the apps will be in a different order, which is a little bit annoying. I'm not quite sure why that is, but that does happen every once in a while. There's two rather odd issues that I've found with the Exhibit 2 4G. For one, there is no haptic feedback. So when you're typing on the screen or using the capacitor buttons, the phone won't vibrate to let you know that you're actually touching anything. It's a little bit disconcerting. It does vibrate when you receive a call or a text message, so it's not that the phone doesn't vibrate, it just doesn't vibrate when you're doing anything else. I'm hoping this is an issue that they'll eventually address. Also, I'm not too sure if this is something just with my unit, but the ambient light sensor is not sending back any data to the phone. It's there, it's just not communicating with it. So that means that the auto brightness is not working. As far as reception goes on the Exhibit 2, I've had no issues with missed or dropped calls. The Exhibit 2 is running off of T-Mobile's 4G network. It's on the 14 megabits per second side of the network. I've had issues grabbing a 4G signal at times. In areas where I normally have no issue, no problems getting a signal, it takes a while for it to grab it, but once it has a signal, it does a really good job at holding on to it and keeping it, so that's rather impressive. Audio quality, the earpiece is a little bit low for my liking. That's not to say that it's not audible, it's actually really audible and clear. I just wish it was a little bit louder. The speakerphone, however, is quite loud. I'm going to make a call to Pumpkin Escobar and put it on speaker so you can hear the speakerphone. The service you are attempting to use has been restricted or is unavailable. So the speakerphone on this is quite loud and audible. If you swipe left on the contact, you can send a message. So I'm going to swipe left on my good friend, Senor Nutcracker. Show you guys the message interface on the Exhibit 2. And also the available keyboards out the box. You get the Samsung keyboard, which is a multi-touch keyboard that supports voice input and works from both portrait and landscape mode. I find that you get a good amount of space no matter which way you put it, so you should be able to type out your message on the screen. However, there is no haptic feedback, so you might find that a little bit annoying. I know I found it a little bit annoying at least. There is also swipe. 
for those who don't know, swipe just allows you to trace over the letters to form whatever word you're trying to say. So if I say, want to say the party should be great, I just go the party should be great. And those are the different input methods available on the Exhibit 2. The Exhibit 2 uses a WebKit browser with a few tweaks by Samsung. You get the ability to adjust the brightness from inside the browser. That's a nice feature to have. You also get a carousel view when you're looking through the different windows that you have open. Head over to boymeansphone.com here. The web browser does support full flash. Seed pinch to zoom does work. And it works pretty smooth. And head over to the review sections, find a video to show you the that it support, supports Adobe Flash. And I'm running off of the 4G network right now. Gonna go with the Optimus V review video. I'm going to put it in full screen mode. Up front, you have a Remember, this is running off of the 4G network, so it does run rather smoothly. So that is the web browser on the Exhibit 2 4G. The Exhibit 2 uses Samsung's camera interface. I like the fact that you have the ability to choose what shortcuts you want on the side. So if you actually press and hold this, and it vibrates to let you know that your selection has been made, you can choose whichever shortcut on this list is something you're going to be using the most. So if you find yourself wanting to use different effects a lot, you can change that. So if I take out drag effects over there, it'll get rid of the ability to change the flash in lieu of the effects. I like having that ability to choose what shortcuts matter to you the most. As far as scene modes, there's a lot of different choices here. You can see all the different choices there. Shot modes, you have the smile shot, which once you press the shutter, it will actually wait until your subject smiles to take the shot unless you physically press the shutter button again. And there's also a panoramic mode, which stitches eight shots together. I was actually surprised at how quickly it was able to stitch the shots together, and it did come out actually really nice. The only, it, one, well, one of the issues I found with this camera is it doesn't have a digital zoom. And no matter what resolution you have the photos at, there is no, still no digital zoom. Overall, though, I found the quality of the photos was quite nice. I was amazed at its ability to pick up details for a 3 megapixel camera. You can also shoot VGA quality videos with the camera and you can use the backlight as a torch when shooting videos. It does good, do a good job keeping the frame rates and picking up audio. The t back the flash I have had a few issues with in a well lit area, so you shot I took with the flash on with the light over the dunny. It came out really nice and captured a lot of the detail and color. However, in a completely dark area, it completely ruined the shot. And that's a little sad. It's 
bright, but almost to the point where it's a hindrance in a lot of ways. Despite some of its issues, I felt that overall the performance of the Exhibit 2 4G by Samsung was really good. For the full in-depth review of this phone, head over to the site boymeetsphone.com. Also, remember to like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash boymeetsphone. Thanks for watching.